Don't bullshit each other. No, we don't bullshit. We say exactly the way it is, and we do all of this on the fly, no preparation whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is Baron David Ward. This is Angie Power Disney, Baroness Angela of the House of Power Disney, and just going to have a practical workshop. And the, I guess the the dog's going mad because I'm giving her a walk. <laughs> she, she's running in out of here like a lunatic. Oh, but open open door. <laughs> I've got the door open in the back Sexist. garden, open, but she wants freedom. But I just want to say, I was just saying to Baron off off camera, um, mm -hmm. it's not a joke. It's there's something about either if you're targeted or if you're discovering information that threatens the powers that should not be, you can expect not to enjoy more than three or four hours sleep a night. And to have a permanent feeling of exhaustion. Like I press through, I put it in my phone, a bit like you. It's like if I say I'll talk to you at three o'clock on Tuesday, I put it in my phone and then I'm like, no, no, please, no. <laughs> yeah, I just, the, the alarm went off 15 oh, minutes ago and I'm thinking, God. what's that I've forgotten now? Yeah. I know, I know. So, <laughs> but then it turns out to be worth it in the end. So, and, uh, and it wasn't that I didn't sleep last night. I was actually online with Australia all night till 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> wow. But like, why don't you say to them, I'm on the opposite side of the world to you. I need to go to sleep now. Well, because the conversation is that engaging. And yeah, that yeah. Much, that's much yeah. energy that's yeah. going on in the conversation. You can't let go of that conversation because the lady that I was talking to, every few minutes she's going, wow, wow, <coughs> you know. I never thought about that before. Wow. You know, it's, it, I completely changed their mindset, but it's 10 hours work. I know. And I remember saying like a few years ago, even if I had 70,000 of a core group, I, I probably have 20,000 of a core group between my blog and YouTube and Facebook and blah, blah. But if I, even if I had 70,000 and even if like Sean Atwood, I had like, 666,000 subscribers, many of whom are bought, but there's 7.6 billion people on the planet. Yeah. So it's all relative. It's like anybody can go on YouTube and anybody can go on social media and, and get their ego stroked and think, oh, I've got followers, I've got support, I've got people completely engaged with my work, but it might have nothing to do with reality. It might never impact anything, and that's me being cynical. Well, it's it's very true, and a lot of these people, I call them um, web webcam idiots, because all they want to do is get on the webcam and talk and talk and talk bullshit. Yeah. With, with the same ten PhDs from from the lucky bag, because you haven't got a clue what they're talking about, really, and they're doing it to stroke their need fix because they've got followers following them. I know. And it feels so good. It feels so good. You might get somebody, you know, with like incredible, you know, criminal histories and mental health issues, but they get on YouTube and for some reason they get a following and then all of a sudden their life has changed and they're important. The other thing I wanted to just address with you, right, and I know you get this and I get this all the time and it gives me, partly gives me sleepless nights. Like I've got a mother who's had her children stolen and she's bombarding my email at the moment. Please help me. Please join the Zoom with the, you know, council that's stealing my children. Please help me reverse this illegal child trafficking theft. And I completely agree, but it's just like, there's a, only a limited number of cases that I can throw my weight behind and say, right, let me spend days and days with no wages on this in an attempt to help you. But it breaks my heart that I can't. Oh, and I've had, I've had, let me just tell you one more thing. I've had like semi-suicidal messages from somebody from your group, our, you know, security by way of a lean, like just saying he's, he's, he's done, he's given up, it's over. And I'm like, I'm not, the Samaritans, I will always reply and say, don't kill yourself. But at the same time, it's like... I do the opposite. Don't fucking kill yourself. 
give up, fuck off, get out of my face. If you are not a fighter and you're not going to put your energy behind something, then fuck off because you're worthless. Well, I'm a woman, so maybe maybe we've got a different approach. People need a kick up the ass and a big kick up the ass. You need a baseball bat round the head. All these people expect us to pull a fucking magic wand out and some magic fucking rabbit out of the hats. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. Stop paying the fuckers. Yeah, and yeah, and then and then the flip side of the coin I want to say is, right? And I don't often, you know, I don't often pull out the victim card. Uh, a lot of people think I'm just a journalist or an activist or a campaigner. They don't realise that the main reason I came online was to document World War Two and onwards experiments authorised by the British Royal Air Force, carried out in Germany and America, and I would say New Zealand, Australia, Canada as well. MK Ultra. So I'm trying to document that stuff, but I'm also trying to break programming, and I swear to God, I'm not lying. I can focus on a lot of stuff, but when it, I've got, I've had people offering to pay me. I had a publicist in America in 2010 said, just publish a book and I'll get you all across America. She literally, I was over there for 10 days on a speaking tour. She's just like, just get a book out. I'll be your publicist. No problem, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a block in my brain. And it's the same when I go to, you don't realise what a mountain it was for me to climb to issue the, the multiple first three stages of a securitised lien with you last year. You think you just helped me because I was in a panic. That, what you did broke programming. Yeah. And programming is from trauma, in my generation, I'm 63, it broke trauma-based uh, mind control programming, it broke electroshock programming, it broke hypnosis, and it broke um, just like threats, like never tell, if you tell you're in trouble, if you tell, you'll die. If you tell, your family will die. And they're all subconscious. So I'm clever enough to have woken up and said, oh, I don't believe that. But 90 or 80% of my brain is subconscious. So the minute I try and take action, like publish a book, I've got five books ready to publish. I just can't or have not so far pressed through the final barrier. And... Like I broke barriers with you last year, and I got I got the first part of Lean sent off, and then and then my brain just goes right sharp. You're not going anywhere. Sharp. Get distracted. Do this. Do that. Go here. Go there. Get sick. Get tired. Blah blah blah. You ain't going down this rabbit hole. <laughs> well, that's the difference. I stay focused. You know. If I've got Bailey's knocking at my door, I'm going to stay focused. That paperwork's going to get done. If it takes me all day to write up and rewrite and rewrite a document, that paperwork is going to get done. Right. I'm not competing with you in any way, but can I just ask you, you know the Jesuits say, give me the child till they're seven years old and I'll give you the man. And I'm, I'm not trying to get brownie points, but do, do, to your conscious knowledge, were your first seven years in any way traumatic? All of it, it's all trauma. There's no one on this planet, current day, and historically, that has not lived a life in trauma. It's all the way back to Babylon. Because there's never been a time in the history of man where you've not had pharaohs, where you've not had emperors, where you've not had the Roman Empire, where you've not had kings, where you've not had all these fucking top-down pyramid goons, and man has been on the bottom fucking row. There has been no time in the history of man since Babylon where there is anyone that's not lived a life of trauma. Okay. It, you know, I, it, just, okay. it just becomes intensified when you've, you've got to step out of your normal routine, when you've got to walk away from being the engineer and you've got to do something that you hate. You've got to pick up that pen and you hate it and you've got to draft up this document in the best all right, way let's just can, do it then. All and, right. and, and then and then post it out. If it takes you all day or three days, it doesn't matter. You've got to get it done. But it's because like unless somebody hold I swear to God at 63, 
I swear to God, and this is what I see John Patterson in at the moment, unless somebody holds my hand, I don't do it. And and I could probably, like, I did have trauma from conception, all through the womb, from birth, fucking hell, this, that, the other, in hospitals, in the military, blah, 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 you know, whatever. Well, but the, the, I, I hear you saying that this is a traumatised people, but at the same time, I'm thinking... As a sideline, we need to set up a buddy system. I know you don't have the time, and for the most part, I don't have the time, and Andy Devine doesn't have the time, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. But there has to be a possibility of a buddy system amongst those coming awake where they could say, you know, I don't like getting, I don't like getting messages from people that are suicidal. I don't like getting begging emails from mothers that have got their children stolen and I don't like saying I'm too busy so I'm just wondering is there a way that people can buddy up amongst amongst those coming awake and amongst those standing up just to say like you know don't don't take the piss but like I'm here for you do you know what I mean and that I think that's what Adrian James and a few people in your group have done yes Whereas you would lose patience and I would lose patience and just say, fuck off and stop annoying me. But there have risen up people that would say, look, I've made a playlist. Look, there's a how-to. Look, take a deep breath. You can do this. Just calm down. You could do this. So that's what I'm saying is that there might be an opportunity for a support system. There, what do you think? There, there was... Um... You know, there was no support system. I was the pioneer. I know, of what I, I know, I, was I doing. know. So there's not, nobody else but going to get this done and get them words on paper, but me. But not everybody the is as strong as that. Me. Not everybody is as strong as that. And you. That's got... just an excuse. Don't forget, I'm the pipe fits the welder. I'm the engineer. I hate that pen. And dyslexic. And dyslexic. Yeah. And when you ask people for help, yes, I asked three people to, to spell check the affidavit. That was six years ago, and I'm still waiting. Wow. Wow. So I've got no time and no patience anymore for people that don't help themselves. The difference between then and now is there is 20 books for people to read. Get off your fat, lazy ass and read the fucking files. But I am telling you, and again, this is not like just a defence, but I'm telling you that people are so mind-controlled, even aside from the likes of myself, but people are so mind controlled uh, by mainstream media and video and blah blah blah. They can't even read a book anymore. People can't even like people's concentration has gone to fuck. All they can do is play a video game or listen to a YouTube. That's escapism and that's an excuse. All right. You either you either get yourself together, you pull your shit together, or you lie down and die. And most of us are lying down and dying. Yes. This is my point. And Most exactly. people are Good. lying down and dying like lemmings going off a cliff. Good riddance to shit. Lie down and fucking die. <laughs> because you're tax-paying fucking scum. Oh, but that oh, sounds like the George life. Guidestones. That's... <laughs> Get out my fucking way. Lie down and die. Oh, you're stop. You're the pile paying taxpayer. Get out of my fucking life, all of you. Okay. And you want my help, then you come PMing me and you want my help, you want me to write your document. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Read the fucking files, learn how to do it yourself, because I didn't have them files to read. But all yes, I'm I, saying... I, am a, I am a cast iron bastard because of this. I know. I, I used know. to be a nice guy, but now I'm a cast iron bastard with skin of steel, and I've got no fucking time or patience with anyone because that fuse burns out a long time ago. I know, I know, ago. I know. And I get a lot of people saying, oh, he blocked me, he blocked me, or he's rude to me. And I'm like, look, just get over it. Like, the guy's... If get the a guy... fucking grip. I know, I know. Right. Having said that, right, let's go to work. Just give me... What is it? Just give me 40 minutes of your time. Right, yeah, I'm going to no share problem. screen. I think I'm getting, I'm getting it in my head what you said about this doesn't need to be complicated. No, it doesn't need to be complicated. Right, so I like... Right, my channel's growing, that's good. Um, so I'm going to go to documents. 
because you told me to print a load. Right. So, I know that two of the things I should print that are really crucial are the two... This is what shocked DS Mark Luby. He couldn't believe Google shared these with me. The two court orders that Jerry yeah. Goldrick issued to Google, one for Angela Power Disney YouTube channel, one for Angie. Yeah. The, one have... didn't even have a judge's name on it. And one had a judge's name, but no signatures. Neither so, of them were signed, therefore they're not warrants. So you right print off, off the bat. The so facts the... are there's not warrant because they're not fucking Yeah, signed. no, so anything from that is in <laughs> So any 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 evidence that they've collected from your YouTube channel or Google is inadmissible. Is inadmissible in court. That's the right. fact of the matter, whether they like it or not. So print them off. So now the question is where the fuck did I hide them? I where don't know. <laughs> that's your problem it's your computer. Uh, right so just like feel free to have a coffee well, I've got a coffee I right. actually made one before we sat down <laughs> oh thank god um, where would I have filed such a thing um, I'm just going to look you just going to be patient with me um, Mark Luby one Mark Luby's the DS that I like you said I shouldn't like any coppers. Um, oh, Jesus, right. Okay, come on. I could look under Jerry Goldrick and see if it's in there. No, the best place would be look Sandar Pichar, that, that, that Google CEO, wouldn't it? That would be the best place to look. Um, where would I have found that? Well, it's going to be um, um, a, a GIF image or a PDF file. It's not going to be a Word document that you're looking at. Uh, do you remember I, I sent um, the first three stages of a lien to Sandar Pichar, whatever his name is, the head of Google? Yeah. So I bet it's, I bet it's in them. Um, Google, here we are. Right, one, two, three, Google. Three, go let's go to one Google. Jerry Goldrip, two Google. To Drew Harris. Um, two Google. Let's find one Google. Three Google. That's like the three stages. All right, let's just go to two Google and see if it's in there. Um, three Google. Oh, three Google USA. Because I, I sent leans to the head of Google Ireland and the head of Google America. So let's see if they're in there. Sorry, sorry, but this is the painstaking what people have to get their heads around to do. Yeah, well, they, they would have come in an email attached to something, wouldn't they? Right, correspondence, blah, blah. So this is like, dear Mr. Sandar Pishar, whatever he says his name. So this is me referring to... No, it's just page one. It's not there. Fucking hell. Right, so we'll cross that out. Three Google. How did you receive these these documents? The, the they, oh, they sent me an email. Right, so you need to look in your email and go back a year to, to when they sent you. I'll do a search in your email for, for them emails so you, so you can... You can download and resave them documents because you can't remember where you, where you put them in your, in your file system. All right, let's try that. Sorry, and this is the kind of thing I need hand-holding with, and I'm so sorry for that. Right, so... Um, oh, fucking hell. See, that was probably... That was my probably my Angela Power Disney email, and I've since lost that channel... I haven't lost the email. No, you won't have lost the email. Right, so we'll just check, shall we? We'll just change. It won't be in the Angie email because that's a new one I made since they took my main channel down. See, this is how they're clever. They fuck you up and take your channel down. And then you can't find your documents and your evidence. Verify it's you. Next. Google needs to verify it's you. Please sign in again to continue. All right. 
All right. It's been six months since your last Google account visit. No thanks, I don't need to confirm my settings. Right, so we're into that email. And then we're going to go YouTube legal department. Um, right, okay. YouTube legal. Legal at support, right, copyright takedown, new copyright, blah, 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 right, right, that's it, right, um, from legal, why is it not showing me loads of emails? Legal at support at youtube.com. Right, that's just my latest interaction with them because somebody took a copyright strike against me and I appealed it and I won. That was a false copyright strike. Right, so that's not it. Um, how else can I search it? YouTube legal 2019 2020 i don't know paypal youtube legal 2020 see i don't know how to find this shit and how come youtube legal is only showing what i'll just do youtube right well you know the search engine is only going to search on exactly what you type in so you need to type in the right command for the search engine to, to find the document that you're looking for <coughs> okay Right, more results from YouTube, press enter. I did press enter. Um, oh, you've got to go back by dates. You know, you've got to scroll back. You know, when did you and I first do our work? See, this is what, this is what's... Okay, YouTube. A year ago. Right, Michael Jingo, I don't know who that is. Right, okay. Privacy. These are all recent, more results for YouTube. Bastard, you see, this YouTube, copyright at YouTube. And you'd be looking for an attachment symbol next to the file, the paper clip. Right, so I've already run out of ideas of how to search for this. Then maybe I'll just go to I get to know last year. Do it manually. Um, right, right, that's all. That's all a load of rubbish. We're well, not rubbish, but eleventh of January, twenty twenty. So, like, that should be far enough back. Right, there has to be an easier way to find. Th these documents, I know I've got them. They should surely be in my documents file. Yeah, well, you would have downloaded them. So yeah, because I showed there. them to you, didn't I? Like I, I sent them. Yeah, I've seen them. I, yeah. I wouldn't have been saying them, but I've seen them. So if this is, your, this is your documents library, it's going to be in here somewhere. Right, so let me just take a logical look. Claire Loftus. The logical thing would be for it to be in the Google documents. I'll have a look in here. Well, no, you would have downloaded that file. It's going to be a PDF file or it's going to be a graphics file. And that's an ODC file. So right. it's not going to be in there. We regretfully bring to your attention an occurrence with your staff at Google for which Mr. Sandar Pichai, a CEO, is liable. We have enclosed the correspondence by email, including two alleged court orders, which your staff are complying with in this document. 
Yeah, so this is good. This is good. We've got it. I think we've got it. Well, we've scroll down, see if you can see the image. Right. Um, blah, blah, blah. It's a bit small for my eyesight. I don't know how to make it bigger. Yeah, I think I think we're onto something here. And we'll at least have a... Um, we'll no, nope, it's not there. No, we'll, we'll, we'll have a link, won't we? Not in that document, no. You would have printed off the document that they sent you, which was a fake warrant. What is this, then, legislation? Well, that's not going to be your link to the document. You've downloaded the document that they sent you, that's, which is a fake warrant, and saved it on your hard drive. So we've enclosed, so I sent it as enclosure. Yeah, but you printed it off separate from this document. All right, OK. So it's not going to be an ODT Google. file. All right, so let's have a look in here. No, that's another ODT file. Okay. So you're going to be looking for a JPEG. So shall I look in pictures? No, it's not in pictures, is it? No, it won't be in pictures. Right. Three Drew Harris, Gareth Henry, Google Island, three Google Island. And that's more of the same, that's just my document saying you've had this. Three Google USA. See, I could just spend all day looking for this fucking document. And they're two priceless documents because, and that's why the detective sergeant said to me, I'm very shocked that um, Google shared this information with you. Because, you know, they showed me that they'd been given warrants with no judge's name or signature. Fake warrants, yeah. And they'd acted on them. Yeah. Andy Bright, anchor, anchor, anchor. They're all ODT files. Scroll down. Hang on. Chris We're looking for something that's not an ODT file. We're looking for the JPEG or a PDF. Claire Loftus, that's the Director of Public Prosecutions. Correct Jerry, correct, correct Google CEO. Right, now this might have the whole lot here. Yeah, I think we are. Here we are. Phew, fucking hell. I think that's in tiny print, but it says, Google has been ordered to provide blah, blah. Yeah, here it is. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, here it is. Right, so press print. Well, you'll print off the whole document. You just want to print off that page. Is that the page we're looking for? Yeah, that's one of them. There's two documents. They went for one for my Angie Power Disney and one for my Angela Power Disney. Yeah, but that's not the court side that you're looking at. No, it is. Like, I can't see it very big. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if I could... That's their letter to you, but it's not, that's not a court order. We state that the alleged... No, it is a copy. Dear Sir, Madam, reference... 34.52 per attached document, Angela Power Disney, claim made under the Criminal Justice Act, 1994, section 63.3. Yeah, I think this is the document. This is what, um, this, yeah, I think this is. So what page is that? I should print that page. Well, scroll down. Let's look at some more pages. Page four. Keep going. Well, your eyesight's better than mine because I'm visually impaired. Now, what's that there? Copy. Uh, yeah, copy. Co yeah. Crime and Justice Act. Yaga -daga -ding. Order. Right, the direct... The district, district Court area of Dublin. District Court number one. We blah, are blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's one of the documents that's not signed by the judge. Yeah, that's right. But, Right, so it's not in our ODT concept. That's the document you're looking for. Right. And, it, and there should be another one. Okay. 
Yeah, then they go for the anti-power Disney one. Yeah, here we go. Thank God we found it, because I was ready to shut the computer down and give up again for another five years. And this is what people with trauma and PTSD do. I know you don't seem to... Well, you... I know, but people do do this. They just give up. Right, dear. Yeah, we've got it again. Yeah, here we go. That's Here's the second one. document you're looking for. Fuck's sake. Right. Right. So if I just print off a copy of both of those and a reference... You can help me write a letter ref referencing the Habeas Corpus Act. Send that to the investigating guard, Jerry Goldrick, and just say, I'm not willing to go through a court procedure of applying to the court cap in hand to get my stuff back, please, sir, if you don't mind. Would you be kind? No, we, 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 are not, we are not going to be polite with these people. No, so I'm, like, I just want to say, I've been right. I've been While I was taking a power nap, I was thinking, right, I, I, I am not willing to go through your court procedures to correct your unlawful removal of my property two and a half years ago. That is I'm, not what we're going to say. That is not what we are going to say. No, I know, but I'm just telling you my female take on it. So I'm I'm lying, having my power nap, thinking, I respectfully demand <laughs> the return of my property. <laughs> we are not going to respectfully demand either. You said well, I'm going to be doing it and not you. Right, print that off. Right. I'll, I'll take it out of that document, put it in another document and print it off from there. But should we print all of it where Google first told me about both of them? Like, you're should we start? Gonna, you're just going to print off the court orders. Oh, right, just okay. go, go to the, the court letters. order. Yeah, not even the Google letters telling me about them. No, you want the court order. Go all to right, the court all right, order. All right, don't shout at me. Okay. Right. Click that, on that, that image. That's one, right? Right, click on that image. Uh, I don't know what that means. Like, if I just find out what page it is, I can tell it's, it's page six. So I can go print page six. But we don't want to print page six. We want to print that image. Go on, print page six. Print uh, pages. It's just the, it's just six to six, right? I'll just see no. if that works. Just just six, not six dash six, just six. Right, pages six, right, print. Let's just see if that works. Well, don't you love that sound? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it when it doesn't come out. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. Like, during lockdown, during lockdown and your cartridge is gone... And then you send away for them and they send you some site that doesn't work. And then they tell you just to appeal. Now, mm. look, we've got a beautifully printed copy. Right, great. I've got a copy of that. Now, right, how many people are we going to send this to? How many people did you send the documents to um, that we said, send us a copy of the warrant? How many people was that? Uh, it was about seven. But let's just do one. If I can get the template from you, how to do one, I can duplicate the others, I promise. Like I just have to go through dummy brain once. Once I've got a dummy brain... Well, we're going to do this letter and we're going to say dear and we're going to put all the names. Yeah, yeah. Now, I can do that once. But we I... only need to do this letter once and you just print it off six times, exactly. seven times. Yeah, seven times, right. So I've done that. Let's print the next... Let's print the next... Um... Fake court order to YouTube. Tell me when to stop when, when I see it. Keep going. After that. There yeah. it is. Yeah. What page is that? No, it's page eight. Right, so... Okay, brilliant. Does that look like page eight to you? That looks like a page six to me. No, we just printed page six. I know. Oh, hang on a minute. We just printed page six, so maybe it's the same one. Um, see, it doesn't help being bloody blind. Right, maybe it's further down then. The next yeah, it one. Is. No, it's no, not. Wait a minute, it's coming up. Yeah.
There it is. There it is. Yeah. So that's page... Ten. Ten. So well spotted. Eyes like a hawk. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Right. Print page 10, isn't it? Didn't we say 10 yet? Yeah. Right. Print page 10. Oh. Right. Print. <sighs> and should I seal and do anything fancy with these? Not really. Let's get the document written first. All right. So that's the two hardest parts. Now, the other proof is that there was no warrant to raid my house and to steal my stuff. Not because they didn't turn up with a bit of paper, but because they didn't leave me a copy and they didn't give a copy on three demands. Right. We've dealt with this matter. Yeah, yeah, I get We've it, I written get it. to all these people requiring yeah. them to send you a copy and they haven't. And they and have. And we've, right. we've documented in the three say three letter process that they yeah, have not yeah, responded yeah. to our previous correspondence. Yeah, and therefore, so therefore that documentation that. proves the fact that there is no warrant. Okay. Regardless well, of the fact that they waved a piece of paper at you and you didn't pay attention and then they took it away again. We have documented the facts and it's a case hard documentation that they have not got a warrant. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. They want the copies of those, all of those letters to all of those people. So it's three documents of all three documents times the number of people that we sent it to. There was a DPC uh, woman who was a detective. There yeah, so I'll just get one. What I want to do with you today is do one of the seven, and then I promise you I could duplicate. It's like all I've got to do is they'll go, right, put that in, that in, that in, that in, blah, 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 and off it goes. I can do that. I can do that. So I'm going to just get the Jerry Goldrick um, letter one, letter two, letter three, saying... I demand a copy of the warrant. You have seven days to produce it. Out of goodwill, I'm going to extend another seven days. I'm giving you a final seven days. If I have not received a copy of the warrant, it is de facto established there is no warrant. Right? That's what we've already done. We've already established that. Yeah, I know we have. I know we have. But in order to do my habeas corpus, do I need to send... Um, a copy of letters one, two, and three. Yes, because that's our evidence in fact that All they've right. not got a warrant. Okay, just a minute. Right, correct, Jerry one. Right, um, shall I just print the whole fucking thing off? What is? You got to print off the whole document. Right, okay, file print. I might have to get some more paper. I'll print that. I think one letter would be enough. One letter would be enough saying, give me a copy of the warrant. And then it was followed up with letter two and three. Right, remember that case, the DPP case, because you're going to need that case number. Uh, yeah, DPP, yeah, it's on the letter. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the letter. I'm printing that now. Okay. Right. So there's there's a copy of the first letter to Jerry Goldrick demanding a copy of the warrant used to steal my stuff with. Now staple it. Uh yeah, that's good. Because you're gonna end up with a pile of paper in a minute. Right, okay. Mm. Shall I staple the two court? The two fake warrants that were used for Google. You can do. Right, or aren't we tidy bunnies? Right, now, the final thing, I think, for this procedure is... Well, that's the, that's the first one. You want the second one to this same guy. Right, I can, I can give myself a note to do that. Or should I just fucking bite the bullet and do it now? Do it now. All right, Google. Correct, Jerry, one. Right, um... Okay. Correct, Jerry one. You can tell I've got AD you've got dyslexia, I've got ADHD. My filing system is a nightmare. <laughs> 
This is why I <laughs> have a Jerry Goldrick. Now that's a possibility. Two I have a Jerry Goldrick. I have a folder for everyone. Well, you're, you know, you're a bit cleverer than me. <laughs> how many pages is this? Oh God, this is how many pages? Well, that page, that last page is doing nothing. I know it's blank. So you only do, you only print it off. How many pages is in that document? Three, four. Oh no, it is dated. Five. Five. So no, there's, there's five. nothing on there's nothing five. on that last page. Go to the bottom of the document and see yeah. what page number that is. Yeah, no, I got it. One to five. I need to print. One to five. I haven't got five. Right. You have to put the kettle on. Where have I put my paper for printing? My extra paper. See, that's the kind of hilarious thing when you run out of paper. And there's my mum's laptop, God bless her. My mum died and I got her laptop. Right, hold on, hold on. I'm going to just see if I can quickly put my hands on printing paper. Where it is. <laughs> oh my god. This is what it's called being human. I've still got an extra print, uh, stapler if anybody wants one. You know, an extra heavyweight one. Yeah. Mm -mm. <clears throat> no. See, that's the kind of stupid. Stupid shit that can trip me up. No, I'm going to have to locate, because I've had a fire, these are my excuses trotting out, because I've had a fire and re the whole house, I don't know where my extra printing paper is. So I'm not going to print, um, I'm going to give myself a job to do that. Um, we're doing good. <coughs> right, printing paper. And print two and three of Jerry Goldrick. And then duplicate for all links. Right, if you can just... I'm so embarrassed, I can't find my printing paper. And I know I'll find it afterwards and kick myself, but never mind. I can't print a five-page document. What I want you to do now, just to finish, is to help me compose a, a letter. So you need a new document? Yeah, here we go. Um, open office. And then, and then I'll send it off and like, do you know what I mean? The spirit of the law. They know I want my stuff back. They watch <coughs> my videos. Come on. Right. How do I go new? Um, shut that down. Open office. How do I go new document? File. New. Oh, duh. File. New. Now, I did send you a pre-configured template document with just your crest on it and your address. Yeah, I've got that in my documents. Right, I'll open that up. Okay, hold on. All right, okay. Uh, documents. I'm showing myself a so stupid APD uh, template, it says somewhere. Um, APD template. Now... Uh, no, you've written on it. You've written on your template. So you're going to have to empty that template completely, delete everything. Right, shall I save this somewhere else? 
well, yeah, okay, we're going to save the, we're going to save this document not as an ADT template. We're going to save it as a document, and we're going to give it a new name. All right, so tell, so I go file save. File save as. Save as. That looks like a part three to Mark Luby. Okay, go ahead. Tell me what to save it as. Part three, Mark Luby. No. What? We're not sending a part three to Mark Luby. No, this is what I sent last year in May. Yeah, we're going to send a new document. This is a new document. Yeah, I know, but shall I just save this so I can reaccess the template? No, that, that template will still be the template because we're saving it as a new document. Okay, tell me what to do then. Right, we're going to send this to who? This is we're going to say we're going to call this habeas corpus. Yeah. So what do I do to, to get rid of this to clear my? Let's... Save the document as a new document as habeas corpus. Oh right. Okay. Save as. Right. Don't shout at me, or I might cry. <laughs> you know, we start doing something. Then habeas corpus. <laughs> habeas corpus. Right. Hang on, I'm going to put it in caps. Habeas corpus. Right. Okay. Right, so your ADP temp still exists, and now we've got a new document called habeas corpus. Now you're going to delete everything else of that document. No, you're not, you're not going to delete the foreign on behalf of or without ill will and vexation. You're going to delete everything above that. Right. Now let's change the date. And change the date. Today's the um, 20th. 20th of April 2021. Bloody. You've got your caps lock on. Oh, stupid. I'm not stupid. There you go. 2021. 20, okay. Okay. Old Castle and the Barony of Four. Yeah. Okay. Right. right. That's docks myself, but never mind. Who cares? Everybody knows my address. And we're going to go to. Hey, two, 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 two. Yeah. Oh, let me just make it bigger because of my eyesight. I'm gonna go sixteen. Fuck it. All right, two. Yeah. The address that you're gonna send it to. Um, I'm gonna send the habeas corpus to my local guard barracks. Um, in the first instance, addressed to the detective. That is talking to Ricky Deam and Sharon Gale, all that lot. The one that went for the fake court orders in Google. The one whose name is on these fake court orders. Right, right I don't I don't know that address, so write the address. Right, right, okay, okay, okay. Two. Um Garda Detective Jared Goldrick. Um Garda. Kells, Barracks, Kells, County Meath. Okay. Reference, reference number, REF. Reference, and then do I put the DPP number in? Yeah, have you got any more reference numbers? Well, I need um reference uh, DPP case. Morning! 2019. Bloody hell. They tortured me. I should do them for torture. 2019. 1586. Who are you saying good morning to? Um, that sounded like it was Dave Kingsworth's son. Um, M-O-P-O-1. In other words, I've got guests. Oh, I know what they do. <laughs> Well, it's all right. They, they'll hear me listening, talking to the walls and know I'm in a call. <laughs> oh, you mean you've got visitors to your house? No, they're not coming to see me. They just said morning. As, as oh, right. Visit. OK, OK. Mm. Right, so we'll just highlight this and make it look a bit fancy. We'll make it bold. Oh, well, aren't we fancy? Right. And then we'll say Angela Power Disney. as well okay 
Okay, go ahead. Now, dear Joe Detective Gallon. Dear. That's You're still in bold. <clears throat> right. Why would I say dear? The man has tortured me. Dear God. Well, you can oh. say dear scumbag, but it won't go down very well. <laughs> dear God, a detective. <laughs> <laughs> but they watch it when we call them that anyway, Goldry. Yeah, I mean, they watch these videos. I know. Right, shall I put reference my computer and two laptops? No, we've already done a reference. All right, okay. Okay. We have noted as of this date. We have noted as of this. Shall I say the above date? This date. Well, you oh, can did, write, oh yeah, twentieth of April. Yeah. You can write. You can write the dates if you want. All right, twentieth April, twenty twenty one. Yeah. And we enclose. And we attach. Yeah. Enclose, not attach. We're doing it on paper. Okay, and close, yeah. The empirical evidence in facts. The empirical evidence and facts, yeah. In in facts, not and facts, in facts, it's evidence in facts. Evidence in facts, yeah. That there is no warrants. That there is or was. That there has been no that, there, been, that uh, there is no warrants. Right. Yeah. Is no warrant. Yeah. For for the for the illegal impounding. For the illegal impounding. Or detainment. Or detainment. Yeah. Of my computers. My computer. Hang on a second. Oh, you bastard! Right, hang on. It's just done. Oh. I just pray against any interference. Because we... Hang on a sec. Let's get these headphones off. Say that again. No, it's just the computer went weird. On the key, on the key pile. The, I'm dictating the no The illegal impounding oh, entertainment of my <clears throat> computer and two laptops. Yeah. Okay. Um, which was seized. Which were? Shall I say unlawfully seized? Illegally. Which were illegally. Seized from seized. my home on August 18th, 2018. Fuck's sake. Excuse my language. Right. OK, we have noted as of this date and we enclosed the empirical evidence in facts that there is no warrant for the illegal impounding or detainment of my computer and two laptops, which were illegally seized from my home on August 18th, 2018. Full stop. Right. New paragraph. I've got to think about what I'm going to say next now. All right. Because I know what I'm doing. I've got a basic map in here, but I've got to think about how I'm going, how I'm going, right. how I'm, how I'm going to say it. Yeah. Right. It is therefore definitive and absolute. Yeah. That any evidence. Yeah. Taken from the said computers. Said computers, yep. Yeah. Or from the raid of Google. Or from the diktat to Google. Or from the... Or, or, or from the, the... Well, you're not going to call it the raid of Google. What If you want to use that here... Demand. Or from the demands to Google. They made two demands to Google for my personal well, well, private well, we, data. We, need, we, we need to adjust what we've said in the first sentence if you're going to include that because right now we're talking about just your computers yeah i'm just saying that uh, okay you can tell me to throw it out but i'm saying to them give me back my stuff one because there is no warrant you haven't given it despite three well, we are not going to say give us back my stuff we are not going to put them words in no i know i'm just talking to you in like layman's language and yeah. two, any information you got from Google is inadmissible because you had no signature. Or is that, by the by, that's irrelevant? Right, go back to the first paragraph. All right, we've noted. Yeah, all right, go on then. Go back to the end of the first paragraph. Yeah, all right. So we're going to carry on that sentence, space, new, new sentence. All right. We also enclose. We also, yeah. The two. Yeah. 
fake warrants. Fake warrants, yeah. Used. Yeah. To to seize data. Yeah. From our YouTube and Google account. From my YouTube and Google accounts. Right, now we finish that sentence. Now we can carry on and do the second sentence. All right. All right, so... so every day I'm taken from political and of computers or from... Hang on, wait. It's therefore definitive and absolute that any evidence taken from said computers or from... The Google or, or YouTube data... Yeah. ...illegally seized... ...or obtained... Not are obtained because they, they, have obtained they, have, the they, have, they, they have illegally seized it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Go on then. From from the set from the same Google and YouTube accounts. Shall I say from both my home and Google headquarters in Ireland? Well, we've already we've already we said from the laptops. We've already quantified that. Right. Okay. So it's therefore definitive and absolute that any evidence taken from said computers or from the Google or YouTube data illegally seized from... Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, all right. All right, OK. That yeah. any and all data... All right, Google seized. All right, sorry, my bad. Right, it's therefore definitive and absolute that any evidence taken from said computers or from the Google or YouTube... Data illegally seized, yeah, what's next? But any data... Um, you bastard. You just illegally seized. That's any data. Yeah, that any data. Illegally taken without a warrant. Yeah. That any... Data illegally seized, shall I say again? Illegally taken without a warrant, yeah. Yeah. Cannot yeah. be presented yeah. as evidence. As evidence, yeah. In any court proceedings. Any court proceedings. Right. Full stop. Full stop. New paragraph. Okay. So now we've quantified exactly what they've seized. Yeah. And, we, and we've used the words illegally it's illegally seized, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And we've told them they can't use any of that data. Yeah. And they can't present it in a in a court any court proceedings. Okay. Right, now, now we're gonna now we're gonna move to the to the habeas corpus. All right, go ahead. As the above as the above equipment. Yeah. Yep. Has been illegally detained. Has been illegally detained. Yep. We therefore. We therefore. Shall I say we when it's me? I therefore, shall I say? No, you never use first person. It's right. we. We therefore, okay. Implement. Implement. Mm. Yeah. The writ of habeas corpus act. Right, I'm going to put that. Writ of habeas corpus act. It keeps doing that on me. Right, I'm just get, get rid of them. The writ of habeas corpus act. Uh, I'm going to make that bold. Okay. Hang on a minute, I've got an incoming car. Mike Watson, give me a second. All right. Hello, Mike. Hi, David. How's it I'm just in a, in a car with dictating a letter for Angela Power Disney. I'm, I'm working live with her to, to, to draft up a letter to get to do a written habeas corpus. Can you call, can you call me back later? Oh, the post that I put up yesterday? Yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, <laughs> I was just wondering if you had any news on the, on the, uh, on the, um, 
No, I've not. I've not had any contact with Alex since the, you know since the last set. Okay. Yeah. I turned the volume down on that because it, a the, it was crackling and b it's. Well, the only the only um, information I've got is what is in that post that that Alex said. He was sixty percent so done, and you him. know, and he's so got forty percent to do. Which I know Baron gets incredibly frustrated and calls it laziness. But I'm not having contact with Alex to PTSD confirm that. I'm just PTSD using this post that he put in the group. So on, um, yeah, trauma survivors. Yeah, we'll catch up later. On. You are this okay, bye for now. It throws us for six. It absolutely lands us. Right. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we therefore implement Ritz of Abius Cobb Ash. Yeah. And no, take the lowercase. Um no what yeah. Take the yeah. bold off. Yeah. And, and uh, no, you still got bold on. And capitals. Right. And yeah. Um Guard of Detective Gerald Goldrick. Yeah. Must, but but put the word must in in all caps. And blood, yeah. and fucking bold. And and bold if you want, yeah. <laughs> no, because like yeah, right, must, right, okay. Must release. Release and return. How about release and return? Release and return. Yeah. The the illegally detained computers and laptops. Yeah. In compliance. Yeah. With the Writs of Habeas Corpus Act. Yeah. With immediate effect. With. Even the birds are singing. As the above equipment has been legally detained, we therefore implement the writ of habeas corpus act and guard it. Let's put a comma after that. And guard a detective Jared Goldrick must release and return the illegally detained computer and two laptops in compliance with the writ of habeas corpus act with immediate effect. Full stop. Oh, no, otherwise. Well, I, I put right. Shall I put full stop or semi? No, carry on. Otherwise. A comma. You okay. could use a comma. Otherwise, right, okay. Um, Guard of Detective Gerald Goldrick. Guard of Detective Gerald Goldrick, yeah. Is willfully. Yeah. And belligerently. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. In, in violation. Yeah. Of the Writs of Habeas Corpus Acts. Which is malfeasance. Corpus Act. Which is malfeasance in office. Malfeasance in the office of the Garda. And carries a term of incarceration. Garda and carries a term of incarceration. Yeah. Of 25 years. Bloody hell, is that right? Yeah. Bloody hell, yeah. Which which is life. Carries a term of incarceration of 25 years, right. Which is life. Which is life, wow. Incarceration. Shall I put exclamation mark? You can do, yeah, if you want. Because okay. that's the end. This is the end, effectively the end of your letter. All right. Okay. Now, let's see if it all fitted on one page, that'd be nice. Well, it will do if you make it small again. Yeah, that's, yeah. And therefore... Oh, no, got, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've just got your salutation. Right, so wait a minute, I'll just make this a bit smaller. I had to make it big to be able to read it myself. Right, let's go down 12. And then let's get it all in one page. Be nice to be nice and tidy in one page. No, right, let's go put it up. Go well, delete yeah. that space in front of without ill will or vexation. Yeah. 
And it's all on one page. That's my covering letter. It's pretty clear. It's, yeah. not, it's not rude. And it's dated the 20th of April. Right, so what I'll do later or now is go and get some more printing paper, although I've got a packet somewhere, and print out stage two and stage three of the letters to him, demanding yeah. a copy of the and you, need, and you need to do the same with the other people that you sent Yeah, and let's duplicate to. it. Yeah, I could do that. I could do the dummy stuff, but things like when I couldn't find it, and when and I ran out of paper you... make me panic. Let's just print this. And you can also go online. Well, you do, you want to do a save first. Oh, well, right. print it. Okay, print it. But you want to do a save. We've not saved it yet. Okay. Right, I'll print that because I've got about two pages left. And I'll put seal and stamp and everything on that. Lovely. Right, save that document. Right, save. File, file and save. File, save as habeas. No, no, save, just save. We've already saved it as. Oh, okay. All right then. Right, the other thing that you can do on your to-do list right. is go online, go on Google. And print out habeas corpus. And find the, the habeas corpus acts on Pretty the judicial website. Two, two and three of Jerry. Duplicate for all liens and send copy of habeas corpus outline. Yeah, which we found before, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. So you, 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 you just you just download and print the act and it's inside. Yeah, and it's like we're not they're not stupid. They know exactly. The truth yeah. is I've sent them two copies. Really, Google did me the biggest favour by and this is what the detective sergeant he says, I'm very I'm very surprised Google I'm very surprised Google informed you. They didn't yeah. just inform me. They sent because... me the dodgy fucking paperwork. Yeah, and they did you a favour. because they did, yeah. They've completely, Google have completely screwed up the DDP and the police. They have. Because them warrants have not got judges' signatures on them. Yeah. One didn't even have a judge's name. Exactly. So they're not warrants. No, they're not. All right. That, I, that's brilliant. That's all I wanted from you. Yeah, I told you it was that easy. Out, and I'm so well. It wasn't easy. My head went left field, and I feel stupid. Yeah, but I can cope with your head. I can, I can bring your head back online because I'll fucking shout at you. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't get upset. Oh, I love the bones of you, David. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. God bless. I told you that was going to be easy. Well, you call it easy. I've just looked like a complete. Dimbo. <laughs> yeah, but I've just shown everyone, you know, you're probably yeah. going to publish just this video. Through, and I've just through. shown everyone how simple it is right. to do an habeas corpus. Okay. It's, right. perma it's permanently online now forever and ever and ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's share it. Let's get it out there. People, please subscribe, please share and get it out there. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> <laughs>